Hello. Hello. Phil, Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you again. Bye, Phil. We're always Bye. so happy to have you. So thank you. Thank now, you. I Take heard, it away. Phil, that you are at the end of your season. Is this correct? Yeah, I'm in my off season now. You're in your oh. off season. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing from June till now and what you have coming up? Hey, yeah, tell so me. The season's over for me now, so we've we've concluded all the races for the rest of this year. Um, they didn't quite all go to plan, especially at the end. Um, we ended up second in the European Championship and I think fifth in the World Championship. So it kind of all fell apart at the end, which was a bit sad. But like we said, um, I gave my best, which is at the end of the day all that really matters. Um, also, yeah, can uh, I interrupt you for a second? Bill just said he came in fifth in the World Championship. That's good in the world. I mean, yeah. to me, Whoa. that is amazing. That yes. is so oh awesome. But we know Phil has really high standards. He likes to be he number sure one. Does. But we're so yeah. proud of you for even doing it, Phil. That's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, just getting to the world championships is an accomplishment, Phil. Yeah. Totally, so, Phil. Yeah, that's that's right. right. Mm -hmm. totally. <laughs> that's correct um okay, so yeah now it's up. i'm in my off season now so for the next couple months um i've basically more time to train to get ahead of stuff that i haven't really been doing um and just kind of also have a bit of time off to try and um, relax after mm -hmm. the season we do get a lot of time off in between races i wouldn't say it's the most intense lifestyle like we're traveling a lot but then also we get a lot of time off um so now it's just a bit more compounded we get um you know, two months basically where I have no commitments at all, um, where I'll just kind of get ahead of my fitness. And um, and yeah, so I'll take you through some stuff that I have been doing at times. Um, and and to be honest, these, these next two months, it's, it goes into Christmas. So it's a good time just to spend with family and stuff. Like even my friends at university, they're, they're coming back, um, you know, for Thanksgiving and stuff. Thanksgiving is coming up. I'm sure you guys are all pretty excited to be reuniting with family and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so that's basically where I'm at. And I'll start again next year. Again, European and World Championship, same thing, same team, new drivers, um, a few different drivers, um, still yet to finalize who, who's going to be in the car with me. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, hopefully give it our all next, next year as well. Oh, that's awesome. And how cool that you're going to have new drivers. That's going to be a fun, different learning, new yeah. people, new team, yeah. right? Like that happens with teams. We have people rotate in and out and you got to learn how to, to race or run with new people. So that's exciting. Yeah, it's good. Also it learns how to work with different people, different personalities is always good. Um, like, like you guys, when you all work together and, you know, meet each other and go for runs, I'm sure it's interesting meeting different characters and stuff. Yeah, yeah. especially because a lot of times we run with different guides. So we yeah. don't always have the same guide every time. And sometimes we really like one guide that we're with and then we get a new guide. But learning how to run with different people and and like you said, Phil, like learning how to be around different personalities and 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 make the best of it. Super important. Right, guys? Yeah, 100%. yeah. Dylan, Dylan's not at his head. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Dylan has mostly has Carolyn for his guide. He's been running with Carolyn for years and years, but he's such a good sport and he's so good at when he gets a new guide, even though it's not Carolyn making the best of it. So Dylan, you're really awesome. Okay. And I want to give you a shout out for that. Okay. Thank Should you. we get started? Because I saw the workout and it looks awesome. So why don't we get started? I know we have so many questions for Phil. Kieran, is your question for Phil or is your question about the workout? If your question's for Phil, we're going to save it for after the workout. If it's about yeah, the workout, sure, sure. yeah. I'll come after. Awesome. Okay. Okay, good. So here's what I want everybody to do to start is to, if you can, you know, move your computer down, right? So that we can see what everybody's doing or bring your phone or your iPad or whatever you're on, bring it down onto the floor or wherever so we can see you. And then we're all going to, Phil, are we starting standing? Yeah, we're going to start standing. Okay, so everybody stand up. Oh, let me bring this down a little bit. Karen, can you see me right here? Yep. Oh, okay. Is better? Okay, Phil. All yeah. right. All right, so for the first thing we're going to do is a hamstring stretch. So we're just going to stand up, and we're just simply going to touch our toes and try and reach down. And we just want to hold at the bottom of this movement for around 30 seconds. 
at the point where you just find it kind of like pulling at the back of your leg. Kind of keep your legs straight during the whole time. So is that better, Karen? Like this. Thank you. Oh man, my hamstrings are tight. This yeah. is hard, Karen. Push us make me tired. But it's a good tired. I know, why it's hard. <laughs> Hey, so remember, let's make sure that we're super quiet so we can all hear Phil and then we can ask him like this. After. Yeah, exactly. And now when we've done that, we're just going to stand back up. I'm going to do a squat opener. So what I do here is I kind of sink in towards the ground, trying to balance on both feet. If you need to put your hands down, that's fine. And what I do here, I just put my elbows inside, inside my, my, my knees. And what we're going to do is take one hand and we're going to just reach for the ceiling and just try and open up through our back whilst keeping our legs just outwards. And I normally use my other hand just on the ground here to give me a bit of support and just tilt down a bit. Hey, Diego, let me see you. Let me see you get on the ground and, and get into that position. This kind of looks like the frog squat that we do, guys. Yeah. Like this? Arm up. Nice, Kieran. Nice, Charlotte. And we're going to do the same with the other hand as well. Then we're just opening up through our thoracic and everywhere. There you go. I'm trying. Nice, Dylan. Got it. Yeah. And if you don't, if you can't reach all the way up, just just twist a little bit, just to open up your your hips and, and lower. Yeah, up <laughs> that's cool. cool. And then from here, we're going to go into what's called the world's greatest stretch. I'm pretty sure it's this at least. Um, what we're going to do is do like a split stance, so it's going to look like this. At this one. Yeah, and just drop your okay. leg to the back so it's relaxed. Yeah. Look at me. We're gonna do is we're gonna put our left hand down on our right foot. I got it. We're gonna take the inside arm and we're just gonna open up like this towards the left. It's yeah. a good stretch. There you go. If you have your headphones off, is that gonna make it easier for you? Are you able to move from the? Is uh, is the problem that you're too close that your string is? Good, Charon. Uh, and we're also going to do that on the other side. So just switch your legs around. Nice, Melissa. Again, now left leg, right hand. And then what happened to Julia? Through that. Okay, back around. <laughs> You're going to the fun. Cool. How does that feel? Nice job. It feels good. Yeah. So for the last yep. stretch, um, this one requires a bit of balance. We've probably done this one before once. Uh, we just called like a, a kind of cradle. We're just going to stand up and we're going to bring one leg and just try and pull it towards our chest. If you struggle with balance, holding up against the wall is also easy. You can just use one hand. Hi, Julian, you're back. So, yeah, like I said, just holding your knee and trying to just kind of pull it towards your chest. And if you've got bad balance like me. You can always uh, lean on something or put a hand up. Nice balance, guys. Nice. So, balance. Just 10 seconds here. Oh, and would you have a look? I'm really having good. Do it again. Um, I've written down quad, but there I need glute stretch. And then we'll do the other leg again, just twice around. You, if you fall out of it, no big deal. Just pick your leg up, try it again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know. I need water. Okay. Last time with the other leg again. Cool. cool. How does that feel? I need water. Yeah, now's probably a good time to get some water before we get into everything else. All right, everybody. That feels good. Everybody yeah. feeling good? Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So now we can get into the meat of it. Like, like we normally do legs, then upper body, then some core, because like we always talk about for racing, full body sort of movement, um, we need to be strong in, in different areas of our body. Um, so for the um, lower part of the day, we're going to do something that's a bit different. What we're going to try and do are these like knee squat ups. So we're just going to be on our knees. You can't really see because my knees are on the ground, just on the floor. And we're gonna go from our knee and just step up into a squat right. and back down on our knees like this. Ooh, so this is really cool. okay. Then do that 10 times round. Here, yeah, what's going on? Knee squat ups, but I'm sure there's a better name for them. 
So okay, yeah, let's see if they're getting their knees. Are we gonna do those now or are you gonna are you gonna tell us everything? Yeah, we we do that now. Okay. So let me see everybody get on their knees. Everyone on their knees. We're gonna start on, on our knee. There you go. Yeah. I'm gonna do ten of these. So I'll count us through. We go one and back down on my knees. Two. Trying to stay low in the squat when we stand up. Three. Nice. Four. Five. Got it. Six. Keep going. Keep going. Got it. Eight. Eight. Nine. Yeah. And ten. And what I forgot to mention there is just I have my hands like in front of me just to help balance. Kind of like we were trying to stand up in a very short house. Yeah. The ceiling was very low. Remember yeah, that we're exactly. going through. Right. Yeah, a bit, of a, a bit of a bird in your quads. Yeah. So that was very quad dominant. Now we're going to do the other side of our legs, so our glute. We're going to do glute bridges. So these are quite fun because you're kind of lying down. So what we're going to do is find a place to lie down. Put okay. on the Nearly 90 degrees. Rest our hands where we feel comfortable. And we're just going to lift our hips towards the sky and create like a bridge. And we'll do that in motion 10 times. We'll hold at the top for a couple of seconds, then lower again. <laughs> so it's going to look like this. Yes, everybody it's lie flat on your back. Here on, there we go. Flat yeah. on your back. Yeah. Diego, let me see you on your back. Good. Bend your knees. Awesome. We're just going to pick our hips up. You yeah. don't have to look at Phil for this one. He's just gonna count us down because this one, yeah. this one's pretty easy. We we did this in yoga too. Okay, Phil, we're ready. All right, so we're gonna do ten of these, and at the top of every one, we're gonna hold for like a two second count. So if we go one, one, two, back down, two, down, down, three, down, four. Up. I'm really trying to drive our hips to the ceiling. Five, up, six, down. up, seven, up, eight, down, up, nine, down, and up. ten. Nice. How did that feel for everyone? Nice job. Good. It looked good. Nice job, everybody. Kind of a fun one because you're lying down, but you're also working, so it's kind of 50 50. Also, glute bridges are really good for running. They're really good for strengthening the back of our legs and our back muscles for running. So that's a great one, Phil. Yeah. Cool. So we can either do that all again or we can do the whole thing and then cycle back. <laughs> Let's do them again since we got them. Everybody, we're going to do those, those same two exercises again since now we know how to do them. Okay? Yeah, exactly. Whilst they're still fresh in our mind. Yeah. So we're going to go to that knee glute up. Uh, we're gonna have to come up with a better name for it, really. Um, <laughs> so starting on our knees again, and we'll count through just standing up and holding a low squat eventually. If All right, everybody on your good. knees. We're going back to one where we're standing in the very little house. So we're standing yeah. is really close to your head and stay squatting. There we go. All right, Phil, we're ready. Let's go. Yes, so up and back down. For so one, two, and I have my hands ahead of me. Just to hold my balance. Three. Yeah. There you go. Four. <laughs> down on your knees and then stand up and then Five. back on your knees. Nice, Dylan. Six. Seven. Nice splash. Up. Eight. Nine. There you go, Julian. And ten. Okay. Woo! Nice. Feel that burn? Nice. Cool. So if you want to grab a drink of water at this point, I think we can afford a few seconds here just to recover. All right. And then we're going to do those glute bridges again. Those That was the one we were lying down and we're just lifting our, our hips up to the ceiling. Okay, so everybody on your back? Yeah. Everyone ready? Let's see. We'll start when we're ready. Everyone flat on your back, knees up. Well, that <laughs> and Turn. Yep. Feet down on the floor. Dylan, I like the ab exercises you're trying to do though. That's that's a good one too. Okay, we don't need to look at Phil. We know what we're doing. So he'll count us down. Yep. Hips up, down. Okay, All Phil. right, let's count through these. So go one. Up. 
two, and we're trying to hold at the top for two seconds, remember? Yeah. Three. Up. Four. Down. Up. Five. Down. Six. Down. Up. Seven. Down. Up. Eight. Down. Nine. Down. And ten. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm already starting to get warm. I'm going to take my long sleeve off. So we're already doing a good job because we're warming up our bodies. How's yeah. everybody else feeling? Good? Thumbs up? All yes. Good, yeah. Awesome. So we're going to, for the upper body part of today's session, we're going to do some push-ups again, but another variation. Um, push-ups are probably the easiest thing you can do for upper body, especially with our equipment. Yeah. Um, the variation here is going to do a 90 degree pause. So kind of halfway up the push, we're just going to stop for a sec and then continue. And on our way down, stop for a sec and go down. We're only going to do eight here. So um, it's a little bit less number, but you're working for a bit longer of time. Um, and also for people that might struggle, we can go on our knees to make it a bit easier. I'll show you both now quickly. So the normal push-ups, <laughs> we pauses, we're just going to go down. Up to 90 degrees. Can you like this? Up, pause, down, pause. It's hard as your push up, Sandy. Okay, so see what so Bill's doing. That are gonna He's... Struggle, yes. We're going to go on our knees. Exactly. So and... then, go ahead, Bill. This shortens the distance and makes it a little easier. So I'll show you what this normally what I do here is I just cross my legs behind me just to make it a bit easier. And then we do the same thing. Yeah. So we go down, up, pause, up, yeah. down, pause, down. One. See, so you can do that. Three, four. Just to try and slow it down. I think we're okay to do that, are we? Okay, so if you notice, guys, remember he's stopping. We're going to stop halfway down, then we're going to go down. Then we're going to come up halfway, and then we're yeah. going to go all the way up. So we're kind of going a little up, a little down, all, all the way, okay? And I'd like everybody to try one in our full push up position. And then if you need to, we'll go to our knees. But at least yeah. let's all try one first. And if you can stay in the full push-up position, great. If you need to go to your knees, great too. We got to do what our body needs, okay? So let's all get into plank. Uh, we're superheroes at plank. Let me see your amazing I'm, plank. I'm everybody. hot doing that. Melissa's ready. Flash is ready. Julian's ready. Kieran's ready. Dylan, can I see you in plank? I know you got a good plank, Dylan. I've seen you. Charlotte, Sandy. Okay. All right. Let's try one Just together. Here. Still, we're ready. All right. So down, pause, fully down, pause up, fully up. That's one. Yeah. Two. Take your time. If you need to use your knees, go ahead. Diego, let me see you, bud. I know you can do these push-ups. Five. Yeah. Six. Keep nice going, Charlotte. Keep going. What happened to your camera, Karen? Um, just want to see you, but keep going, Charlotte. Keep going. Get your camera back on later? Yep. Why'd you turn it off? How's that for everyone? I think I got through my eight pretty quick. Some of you might have. Uh, I think still the eight, but I stopped. I stopped. Oh man, look at those tired faces. That's a good sign, Phil. I'm tired, wow. honestly. <laughs> I couldn't even do it in PE. Right? Really? Oh. I'm doing them phys ed. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's so really about a push up is you're working your whole body when you're doing that, not just your arms, because you're holding yourself in plank and you're using your legs, and it's such a good workout for us. That was awesome. Yeah. Okay, keep hitting us with it. We're ready. Now that we're talking about planks, the next exercise is also plank related. We're probably only going to go through these things once just because it's a bit upper body heavy. Um, up, down planks, really similar to push ups, but we're doing it with a single arm. So essentially, what we're doing here is we're going to be in our plank and we're just going to lift ourselves up off the ground and put ourselves back down on our plank. I'm going to do that eight times. So do you understand what I said there? We're going to go from our plank on our elbows, pushing up to straight arms, back down onto our elbows. So let's start on our elbows. Let me see everybody get on your elbows. 
I'm hot. I'm sweating. Look at Melissa. She's there. We go. There, I'm yeah. sweaty. There you go. You're gonna come work out. I'm all yeah. sweaty. Yeah, that's because we're working hard. Charlotte, can I see you get down on your on your arms to do this? So Dylan, yeah. go ahead and get down on your elbows. Diego, let me see you on your elbows. Okay. And then we're gonna push ourselves up into our full one and then back down. Melissa's already doing it. See what she's doing? Okay. One I arm. Gotta, I gotta struggle. We can jump on our knees if we need to. Yeah. Ah. Okay, let's do it. How many are we doing, Phil? It's gonna be eight. Eight. Okay, ready? Okay, good. All right, ready on our planks? And we're gonna go up for one and back yeah. down. Up for two. Oh. Yeah. Great job, Dylan. Great job, Kira. <laughs> yeah, really awesome. Five, six, seven. All right, Julian. All right, way to go. Um, really sweaty, Karen. Warm up. Well, that you're getting a good workout. Warm up. Drink some water. <laughs> nice. Karen, how'd everybody look? Looking good. good. Looking hey. good. Some Thank really you. solid planks. Thanks, Yeah. And I'm lucky because I'm doing it on carpet, but a few of you guys, maybe you're doing it on some hardwood floor. Maybe grab a towel or put a t shirt down or something just to make it a bit easier on your, on your elbows. And let's go ahead and grab a sip of water. I just needed a sip. So I'm going to tell everybody. Me too. Take some. <laughs> so grab some water if you have it. Okay. Bill, what do you think? Do you think we could do this one more time? I don't see why not. Everyone's I think too. I know this is a lot, and Phil even said this was a lot, but you guys look super strong today. A lot of you have been running races recently. Mm -hmm. You are so ready to tackle this again. Remember, if you need to use your knees, go ahead. But I say, let's try it, yeah? Should we try 100%. it again? Yeah. Yes, awesome. Well, Phil and I agree, so the rest of you are going to have to do it with us. Okay, we're going to go right. far. What did we start with? Push ups? Yeah, we did those push ups. Okay. So All let's right. Back in the plank, folks. Remember, if you need to use your knees, go ahead. Try one without it, and then use your knees when you need to. Okay, and everybody's in the plank. Phil's going to start. Yeah, ready guys? We're gonna do those pull push-ups kind of halfway up. Julian, you gonna do the push-ups too? No, just see. Hey Flash. And Charlotte, can you get down in the plank? Nice. Oh, sorry, I'll go. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Looking good. I'm really sweaty. No, that's you're getting a great workout. Okay, keep going, keep going. How was that? Hard. Awesome. Did you guys make it? Yeah. I think this is definitely one of the hardest yes. upper body yes. ones yes. we've done yet. So if you're finding it hard, that's fine. I'm finding it hard too. Me too. Me too. Me too. It's hard to do push-ups, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, look at those muscles, Karen. Yes, I love that. Show me your muscles. Show your muscles. I, yo, guys, we're going to have big muscles after that. That really makes your muscles yeah. look nice. Okay. Ready for All right. Video? Up, down, yeah. plank. We're just going to do those one more time. So eight here. We did them before. Good for you. Like I said, elbows up to straight arm plank, back down onto our elbows, which is a normal plank for us. Okay. Oh. Ready? Everybody in plank on your elbows. Eight of these. On your elbows. Yep, down on the ground. Okay. All right, All right, let's go. go. One. Back. Feet up. Two. Feet up. Three. Up. Four. Butt. Down. Up. Down. 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 Keep going. Down. Up, down. Good flash. Here you go. Eight. Up. Everybody looks great. Thanks, Jeff. How are your arms feel? Give them a little shake. Shake them out. Woo! Yeah, we just did a lot of work with them. Nice job, everybody. Okay, we did our legs. We did our arms. Now it's time for... 
our what? core, what? kind of everything in the middle. Core. So I think core is like one of the most important parts of what I train in racing. And I think it's also one of the most applicable things in life, really. Using it when you run, using it every day when you're standing up, sitting down. So this is something we have to train all the time in any sport, in any person in their lives. So we're going to do another plank variation, but this time our arms aren't going to be moving, so it shouldn't be as difficult. We're going to be in a plank on our elbows, and we're just going to move our feet. Now we can do questions out after. And back in. So I'll demo this again. Um, so we're going to be in our plank, and we're just going to move our feet out and back in. So one. Two. Notice he's not moving. The only thing moving are his legs. <laughs> out, out, in, in. So we can even do that. Step out, step out, step in, step in. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. Okay. So let's get back on our forearm. We're doing our forearm planks. Julian's already in it. I love it. Okay. So let me see everybody in your forearm. Diego, great. <laughs> Melissa looks <laughs> awesome. Kieran, Dylan, let me see you back in your plank. Yeah. We're getting so much plank workout. Okay, we're gonna step out, out, in, in. All right, go ahead and go. So out, out, in, in. One, out, out, in, in. Okay. Try and keep your body very still. Just move your legs. And back. One. And back. Five. And back. Six. And back. Go on your elbows. Um, eight. You're okay, Julian? Yes. How was that? Okay. Hi, Julian. Hi, Carl. How's everybody? It's uh, hard feeling. Pretty, pretty warm and spicy? Yeah. That's a good thing. Yes, Sam. Okay. We got another one, though. We're not there yet. You guys got it. Yeah. I'm, I'm sweaty already. I think we're just going to change this last workout a bit because I think the workouts are going to be a bit difficult with all the upper body stuff we've done. So instead, we do a Russian twist. And this is super. Oh, that easy. one. I know. So what we do here is we're basically sat down on the ground, our legs bent at a 45 degree angle. I like to keep my toes pointed at the ceiling. Again, I just find it easier. Lean back. I put my hands together and we're just going to twist from left to right, left to right. Okay. I think, Phil's elbows are like almost trying to touch the ground next yeah. to him. That's what we're thinking about. Exactly. Yep. See how Allow he's our shoulders to rotate, but all of this wants to happen, not sat completely upright, but decline, making it feel like we're working our core. And his legs are not moving this time. I know that's confusing because we just, in our other one, our legs were the only ones moving, but now our legs are still, and we're just twisting at our waist, okay? So let's go ahead and sit down. On your bottom, knees yeah. bent, toes raising up to the sky. Okay. And we're gonna do twenty of these each side count for one. Oh my gosh! Okay, right. Right, here we go. Are they out in front of us? Yeah. Okay. Over here. Leaning right. Over here. And one, two, three, four, five, five six, twist, twist seven, your body. eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, Just twist into your waist. 15, Try and get your elbow to touch the ground. 8, 19, 20, 20. How was that? Phil's a little bit of a speed demon, guys. We can see how, how in shape okay. he is. Good. He beat me by like seven. But that's okay because you go your own pace and we're going to work yeah, towards yeah. Phil's pace, let me tell you. And it's time under tension as well. So if we're all working for the same amount of time, we're getting the same work done. Amazing. I think we'll yeah, do the that last makes sense one. Everybody? Again, if everyone's comfortable with it. Yeah. Let's do it. It's the Russian twist, I think, probably. Yeah, the let's do it. It's the Russian twist again. And with okay. those, I try and touch the ground with my hands just because it's a little bit easier just to try and touch it with the hands. You keep a nicer rhythm. So if everyone's had a drink right. of water. We're going to stay in that same position we were. Yeah. Put those toes up. Get those hands in front of you, almost like they're in prayer position. Mm -hmm. Elbows out. Yeah. Are we ready? Five and 20. All okay, right. Let's do it. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20. Woo! Nice. Good job. Nice job. Oh my yeah. gosh, that was great. How's everybody feeling? Give me a thumbs up if you're feeling good. Yes. I did 59. Oh, you did a lot of them. All right. Okay, way to go through all parts of our body. Phil, we just rock that, huh? Yeah, big time. Totally. Okay. So now we're well, gonna do some light movements to cool down. Um, one of these ones we've never done before. I'm not sure you guys have seen it. We've done our cat cows before. We're gonna do a similar thing with our, um, with our sort of cow position. Well, we're just gonna internally rotate our arms around so our hands are facing ourselves. And we're just gonna stretch our forearms. So we're just gonna relax here. Our forearms cramp up with using our cell phones on our laptops the whole day. This is a nice one that just kind of releases them, relieves them, releases. We can find the word and say, what is one? So you're in your tabletop and notice Phil's fingers are turned. So they're yeah. pointing towards his, his legs. Yeah, okay, exactly. So turn your hands so your fingers are pointing towards your leg. <laughs> For some people don't want to have that mobility, we can turn our hands just outwards a little bit. So you don't have to necessarily go all the way around, but you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Like a, a nice stretch in here, right in this in this part of your wrist and your arm. Yeah. We're all on our phones yeah. too much. So this is a good stretch. Yeah. Our phones uh, and our iPads. Nice. I'm not on my phone right now, Andy. I know, good <laughs> thing, huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on this for the workout. How does that feel for everyone? Woo, that feels good. I'll check it later, Angie. Okay, right now we'll finish our stretches. And um, the next one we did last time, our hip flexor stretch. I think you guys might have done these when you go running. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I think Angie mentioned last time. Maybe I'm getting it wrong. But what we're going to do here is like, again, sort of split stance. And we're just going to put our weight on our leading foot and knee and just stretch into it. So if I face you, one leg behind, relaxed, one leg in front, and I'm just going to Kind of push into that and just stretch all through here. This stretches our hip flexors, which often get really doing great. around loads on our couch. You're doing so great, Flash. Thank sat you. By, sat on our phones again, really easy. To <laughs> You're funny. So this is, a, this is a good one just to try and stretch that out. I'm just going to hold this position for a bit longer. Also, a really good tip for this sort of stretching is when you find it hurts, just focus on your breathing. Just take slow, okay, depth, deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. On the exhale, you should find it releasing and relaxing. And if we switch <laughs> our legs around, do the other leg. Again, one leg Keep behind, going. one leading leg, our weight on that leading leg, and just kind of sit into that. Feel free to just kind of push forward with your knee as well. I find that helps to just get into our hip flex. Nice job. Mm -hmm. There you go. What are you doing? <laughs> nice. Who's laughing? Nice job. Who's laughing, Angie? That's just Dylan. Oh, okay. He's laughing. That's so sure funny, you? Dylan. Charlotte, right. are you touching your legs? My legs like yes. it a lot. How was that? That's a great one. And we have done that at our, at our workouts and before our races, because we know our hips get really tight when we run. So that's a good yeah. one to remember that you can do the next time you're at your in-person yeah. workout. Okay. Yeah. And the last one yes, of today's session is just a little glute stretch. So we <laughs> sit down ahead of us like this. I'm going to take one leg, bring it over to the other side of our other leg. And I like to just wrap my hands around it and just put it towards my chest. Good, Julian. And it's quite easy to do because you just sat down. Like, so it looks from in front. Nice job. Just like this. So we'll hold this again for 20 seconds. This is a really good one to stretch your glute. Glutes are quite difficult sometimes to stretch. Um, so this one is really nice and it's so easy to do. It's a good one, especially after a lot of running. Everybody. All right, and let's now switch to our other leg. So again, I just tilt my camera down a bit. You guys to like that. Take one leg over to the other side. 
Pull and then just pull pull in that leg towards our chest. Chin. Pull, pull this way. Like, I wrap both arms around it, just kind of pull it towards my chest. Towards you. There you go. How's that feel? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. I think that's it, honestly. How was that for everyone? Wow. Yeah. What do we think? Was that an awesome workout, everybody? Yeah. Yep. Yes, Angie. Woo! Oh, I think yeah. That was our hardest one, really. I no, I think that was our hardest one. And you guys all did it. Like we we did it. We did all those push-ups. We did all that ab work, all that core work. And look at all, all of us survived. How amazing. Let's take some water though, because we worked our muscles pretty hard. Yeah. I have a question. Okay. So we will we will get to questions. I promise we will have some time to ask Phil some questions. Everyone will have his turn but to ask questions. Can we before we even get to questions? Can we give a big round of applause for Phil for taking time out of his day to teach us that amazing workout? Thank you, Thank Phil. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Phil. Thanks, guys. Turn your camera off. Is that we record them, right? So if you ever want to go back and watch it again, which I know a lot of you do, it's going to be on the You'll site. Put on the website. You'll put on YouTube. You can keep working on your push-ups. You can keep working on all the things that Phil has taught us today. Because these are really great exercises to help us with our running training. And we've got yeah. some pretty awesome races coming up. And it's really good to stretch and to work out these muscles before a race so we can run as best as possible. Really awesome. Phil, we so appreciate you always taking time to come and teach us. It is so amazing. It's the highlight of our month. We were so excited. The kids have been talking about it all month. As soon as they knew, they could not wait for you to come. We talked about it at the uh, dance party yesterday. We're so excited. So thank you so much. Now, I will definitely, Phil, we've got a few questions. So we'll take a couple. We can I go first? Busy, but we'll take a few. Go ahead, Charlie. You've been doing a nice job holding your hand up. Hi, Phil. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you, Shana? Good. So my two questions that I have for you are, number one is, what are the advantages of driving a race car? And number two is, what's the best part about racing? Oh, that's a really good question, actually. Um, the best part about racing for me is, is like the, the environment. I'm a very competitive person, if I'm honest. Um, we definitely have some competitive people here. I definitely saw other running um it's just being in, a, in an area where i can compete and give it my all and um i think that's really important for me it keeps me healthy um being in like a, an environment that's kind of suited towards my nature um in terms of the actual driving part what's the, the best part about that when i was a kid it was just the adrenaline the speed all that sort of stuff um it's kind of sad to say the novelty wears off after a few years um and then it's just the sort of competition that keeps me keeps me incredibly motivated um but initially when i got into karting and, and when i first got in a car um i was just like wow this is this is some some speed some some power and the adrenaline it was it was awesome that's awesome are those some of the advantages of, of racing the advantages i mean what are they what are the what are the advantages of racing there's plenty but there's also disadvantage everything kind of it's yin and yang, you know, there's always a, a trade-off. So I get to tra travel the world. It's a massive advantage. I get to see places all across all across the world. I've been to Asia. I've been to America. I've been throughout most of Europe. Um, I've never been to South America because the races have got cancelled. But um, that's one of the biggest advantages. I'm able to see loads of different cultures and stuff. There's a slight disadvantage. I'm away from home quite often. Sometimes I miss birthday parties. I miss spending time with friends, family, stuff like that. But um I think I'll probably come back to look at it in 20 years and think I'm, I'm glad I missed that one birthday or that one dinner or that one whatever. Um, and I was able to see, you know, Japan, which was a, a big thing for okay, me. Okay, that's good. I wish you luck for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Go to the next person. Okay, I see Kieran has his hand up. Thank you, Kieran, for waiting so patiently. Go ahead, Kieran, you can ask your question. Those are good questions I asked, Kieran. Yeah, and I have to say, like, I can't believe I, I met you like like five times this year and I even met you once in person. I'm never gonna forget that time I saw you in the park. I'm never forgetting. Right. Wait, I didn't know you guys yeah. met in person. Yeah, September 28th. Wait. That was Tuesday night workout. Uh, <laughs> Phil 
came to New York. Special quick visit and we yeah. work out. No, oh, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, that's so, so awesome. You guys all got yeah. to meet in person. Yeah, it's since incredible. you're in London, when I can, when I do the London Marathon, you better believe I'm coming over there for the London Marathon. Yeah, definitely. I'm sure I'll come and support you if I'm here. Awesome. Yes, that is so, so cool. Cool. coming, Karen. That yeah, and remember, very cool. um, Kieran, do you have a question or did you just want to say the comment? I just wanted to comment just how, like, how lucky we are to have met you this year. And totally. remember how you shout out Dylan and how Phil talked about him having new drivers? I can yeah. relate to you, Phil. Yeah. When I had to do my, when I had to do one of my races at summer camp, I actually had to find a runner from an entirely different team. Yep, but you were yeah. able to do it, weren't you? Yeah. You did it yeah. and you finished that race. <laughs> yeah, and that's how I actually got the newest member of Achilles New York, Cam Counselor Sarah Haberman. She's joining that's, the team now. That's nice. awesome. Nice. Well, that was a great comment. Thank you for sharing that, Kieran, because I did not know that you guys all met in person, and now I have total FOMO that I missed it. With all so your I'm heart, Karen. You guys got to meet. Okay, yeah, I'll send you pictures out after. Please, I we're never going to see you again in March. Phil might be back in town. Yeah, oh my I mean, God. I'm definitely going to be back at some time. <laughs> you're in funny. Here. That's going to, so. well, you know, Phil, anytime you're in New York City, you've got to let us know so yeah, that you cool. can join our workouts. We'll even make a right, special Karen? workout in person oh, if we yeah. can't make our Saturday or Tuesday. So Sophia, okay, funny. do we have any more questions before we let Phil get back to his busy day? Okay, awesome. Um, all right. Let's put our hands in. Phil, what should we say? We'll leave I'm it up staying for the after party. After this workout. What should I our think, cheer be? Normally it says, go team Achilles kids, isn't it? It is. Yeah. That's the I, cheer I mean, we do every team. Friday. Stick with and the tried and true, yeah, Phil exactly. said. Karen, are we going to no, do a dance thank you. The again, no? guys, can we say thank you again to Phil? Yes. Oh, thank and you. Yeah, thank you, Phil. Phil. Thank All you. Right, thank you. This was oh, awesome. Karen. Um, Okay, put your hands in. Hands in. Down. Go ahead, Phil. All right. On three, go team Achilles kids. It's a powerful. All right, guys, on three. Ready? One, two, three. Go team oh, Achilles, team Achilles kids. kids. Woo! Karen. And go Phil. Go Phil. Good luck with yeah. your taking it easy and getting back yeah. into your workout these next two months. We'll be oh, ready for you. And thank you again. Good job, oh, everybody. Yes.